Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for uh, for waiting. It was a tough fight. Katie's been stitched up. I think Amanda as well, and I know she's already spoken. Um, there's a lot of you, and we're very grateful for that. We're not going to stay too long because, as I said, Katie had a very tough fight. But firstly, I just want to thank Madison Square Garden, the zone, all the media for just the most incredible night. You know, we built this as the biggest female fight of all time. Um, and it became one of the biggest fights in boxing today, but what you witnessed was one of the greatest fights, I believe, in the history of Madison Square Garden, and uh, both both women deserve so much credit, and I think now, to be honest, is the night that we stop talking about women's and men's boxing, just, just boxing, because that was one of the best fights I've ever witnessed live, so congratulations to Katie Taylor. And we're going to go to the floor for questions. Jake Donovan, I believe. Good first. Thanks. Hey, Kate, congratulations. Uh, it's incredible. Everyone here, it's, you know, fight of the year, just probably the event of the year. For you, you became the undisputed champion in this building three years ago. I know you were displeased with your performance. How important was it for you to deliver a career that def uh, defining performance tonight? Um, yeah, I mean, I think the most important thing is always to come out uh, as a winner, regardless of uh, how, uh, you know, I performed uh, well or not. But yeah, tonight was uh, just fantastic. I had to dig deep in there tonight. I had to produce a career to find the uh, performance that actually went tonight. And um, what an amazing champion Amanda is as well. Um, a phenomenal fighter. And uh, we definitely um, we definitely got the best out of each other tonight, that's for sure. Um, but, you know, everyone was talking about going into this fight. It was the biggest fight in women's boxing history. But I think it actually exceeded everything that uh, that people are talking about this week, and um, yeah, just even walking out to the ring, uh, walking out to the ring today, just looking at the packed stadium, um, unbelievable stuff. This is it was absolutely special, special moments. The the best night of my career for for sure. I I, I wasn't uh, sure if anything could uh, could um, reach my Olympic gold medal moment, but tonight was absolutely the best moment of my career. Yeah. So, um, all, all three judges had you winning the final three rounds to pull out the victory. Did you sense that you needed those three rounds to win this? Uh, yeah, I came back and uh, I guess that's what was my call was saying. I needed, I needed the championship rounds and uh, I did what I had to do. I showed that the champions heart in there as I always do. Um, I think uh, time and time again, time and time again, I always showed that, that, that champions heart when I need to. And, I don't eat when I needed to tonight. I was in the trenches again tonight, and um, those are those are career-defining moments for sure. Right. Katie, you. Sean Vaughan here. Congrats. Uh, well, Already, the Serrano team are here. They're only going about ten minutes, and they more or less said they'd come to Dublin for the return. Yeah. Eddie, <laughs> what do you think? They all agreed they would prepare to come to Dublin. Will you give a return? Me? Well, you're the last. Katie give her a <laughs> yeah. Katie? I mean, I think, talk about the rematch first. Yeah. If it was a fight you'd be interested in, I'll talk about Ireland. Absolutely. Um, we, we all want to see the best yeah. versus the best. Of it. Um, yeah, I mean, absolutely. Uh, a rematch would be absolutely phenomenal. And if it was in Dublin, we could sell out Crow Park, I would say 90,000 people. Um, so that will be unbelievable. We we see something special here tonight. Imagine in the final in front of eighty or ninety thousand people in Crow Park. Um, abs absolutely, like that can happen. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, are you, were you organised, Eddie? Yeah, cool. So, so. He, he, still, he is my promoter. Yeah, <laughs> she'll still let me. Unless she knows something I don't. I don't know. But, um, 50, Fifty years ago, Muhammad Ali fought in Crow Park. Yeah. So he wants to bring the greatest. Yeah, of course. I mean, look, that felt like Croke Park tonight. I mean, it was just incredible. And uh, I'm not sure we'll get as many travelling Puerto Ricans. Um, but, you know, it, it would always, and it has always been on our minds and would feel a big shame if she didn't get a chance to fight in Ireland, you know, during her career. So um, if we could do that, you know, and, and back end of the summer, I said, you know, a tough fight, she's going to need some rest. 
not too much rest knowing Katie, but <laughs> certainly, certainly on the mind of us all. Whatever it was to come back after uh, after round five when you did ship probably more punishment in that round than maybe in your entire career. How did I come back? Yeah, like where did you get the courage and, and the strength to come back? Um, I think the courage and the strength uh, comes back in those moments just purely from the hard work that I actually put in in training camp over the last few months. It's in those moments uh, that the hard work pays off in training. I don't just show courage on fight night, I show courage every single day in training, day after day after day, in hard spars, um, week after week. And um, and that's exactly why you train hard for the, for those uh, moments when you actually are in the trenches. And she's just built different. She's got <laughs> balls of steel. Out there. She yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 Down here. Uh, hi. I get it. A uh, <laughs> couple things. First, like you're talking about the fifth round, was, did Amanda do something or change anything up in the fourth and fifth or fifth and sixth to really be able to get in and land more shots than she had been doing the first few rounds? Um, I, I don't think she did anything differently. I just probably stood there a bit too, too long uh, myself, probably, and just um, made it into a bit of a terror, but as I always do, unfortunately. <laughs> Um, uh, I think I was boxing very, very well, obviously in the, in the earlier rounds, and I just got um, just got uh, stuck uh, just just in a fight with her. Um, but yeah, I can't I can't say that she she did anything differently. Um, I just love a terror every, every now and then. <laughs> yeah. And you, you talked about how you thought maybe tonight even exceeded expectations. Was there a moment when when you look back at everything, whether it was the walk up, whether it was the walk in, anything like that, that made you say? Whoa, this is something different. I think even at the weigh-in yesterday, um, I did not expect to have a weigh-in of that magnitude even. Um, you're, you're seeing all the Puerto Rican fans, all the, the traveling Irish fans, seeing all the Puerto Rican flags and the Irish flags around the place. The atmosphere even yesterday for the weigh-in was unbelievable. It was, it was like something like a, an Anthony Joshua weigh-in or Canelo weigh-in. I never uh, never experienced anything, anything like that. Um, throughout my professional career and then just selling at Madison Square Garden here tonight. Just the atmosphere was amazing. Tonight was just very, 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 very special. I, I don't know. I don't know what else to say. Do you feel like you elevated your sport tonight? Absolutely, yeah. Um, tonight, uh, we were saying before that um, at Madison Square Garden, you're taking the hand Ali and Joe Frazier. People will absolutely be talking about um, my, myself and Amanda Serrano for years and years to come. This is a history-making fight, and I definitely uh, lived up to that expectation. Thanks. Yeah. Kate, you just looked when you were coming out, you were sort of taking everything in. What was going through your mind when you came out and you seen the crowd and all those Irish flags? It must have been an extremely proud moment. Oh, incredible. I just want to thank all the the Irish people for actually travelling over. What this, The support was unbelievable. Every... every thanks, Eddie. <laughs> Um, I think every uh, every fight I've had, uh, the support has been incredible. But tonight was very very special, both for myself and Amanda. Um, you know, the, we, we represent our, our nations very very proudly. Just seeing so many Irish flags, so, so the support was just incredible. Yeah. Did you pick the song? You usually don't pick very I did pick the song. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. As, as Ross was telling me before, uh, we, we uh, walked out just to soak and enjoy the occasion, and and that's exactly what I was trying to do there. Yeah. Katie. Thank you so much. What have been the main difficulties to get to this? point and also how does it feel what does it mean to you to now be an inspiration to so many women with big dreams and especially young girls um yeah i mean i think that's uh, the best part about this journey is being able to inspire young girls and inspire the next generation and um i think both myself and amanda have broken down so many barriers over the last few years in, in our sport and i guess we're both winners in a certain way, and um, tonight just uh, what, what we actually did, what we actually achieved. Um, absolutely, it's going to inspire a lot of young girls after after that fight. Casey, uh, 
Casey a magnificent performance, and it was actually Casey over here, and actually generally moving to watch you and Amanda. It was fantastic. Thank you. But easy for us to say on the outside, but it went so quickly. And I felt like 200 rounds just don't do justice to fighters of your magnitude. Do you feel the time is now to move up to three minute rounds? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't actually know uh, what the right answer to that is. Yeah. I mean, there's pros and cons to either time, you know, it's like, I don't know if now's the time to decide how long the fight should be. We just had 20 minutes of grueling war there. Yeah. You know? I mean, I mean, the one thing that I think is helped women's boxing is the fast-paced nature of the fight. And I don't think you'd get that same fast pace. I do think you may see more stoppages, but I don't think you see the more in, the same intensity over the, over the three minutes. So I've always felt that while we're introducing the audience to women's boxing over two minutes, it's fast paced, it's exciting, it's working. And when you watch that fight tonight, yeah, would it have been better over three minutes? Maybe, maybe not, but I don't know, it's, it's a tough call. I do think eventually at some point, I don't think all women's boxing should be over, over three minute rounds, but you know, um, tonight you saw a fantastic product and it was a two minute round product, but I do I always think we should always look at trying to evolve in some way. I got one for Eddie and one for Katie. First of all, Eddie, uh, don't underestimate how much more we can travel because I've been to Vegas and, and, and they go all the way, so don't underestimate. And, yeah, and, but and, there was about 6,000 uh, Irish yeah. tonight. So and, I think you'd do and, well to have 600. And, and, and we're making jokes. If Amanda goes to Ireland and, and she meets Katie, the third one has to be for Puerto Rico. Rico. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, and, uh, for, and for Katie, one of the judges even gave the, the, the fifth round today. Was there any thought after that round? Because you seem to be pretty hurt that that round. Uh, to your credit, you you took a second win and I go over. But how hurt were you? Um, I don't think I was as hurt as people may think. Um, but no, I, I wasn't worried. I obviously knew it was a tough, tough round for me, and I knew that that was a man's round. But I I wasn't going back and staring or anything. I knew that I was okay. I was stable. Uh, coming back to the corner and. Just, I just had to regroup, reset, and uh, and I actually won the, the next round. I believe uh, after that. So, um, yeah, I mean, I, I regardless um, of whether it was a tough round for me or not, I always come back and, and, and show the heart that I need to, to actually uh, to actually come true. Yeah. Eddie, what's the status of uh, your bet with Jake? No, oh, well, <laughs> I'd love to sit here, with Billy Big Balls, and go, he can keep it, but. We were, we were actually advised that as promoters we shouldn't be betting on our own fights, um, which I feel dreadful about now because it would have been beautiful to take a million off him. But, um, give and give it to me I, I, I would just like to say I was 100% giving it to you, honestly. Like, you know, um, but we, we were coming up with something else for charity. But yeah, um, it was just nice to beat him, to be honest with you, because genuinely, money aside, I, it would have been really difficult to take. Katie, would it have been the same for you? Difficult to take if you got to you know, lose to the team Oh, well, uh, I, every loss is difficult to take, isn't it? Um, I'm very, very competitive. I come in here to, to want to be the best. Um, I came into this fight um, knowing that this was a career to final five, and it would have been very, very different, uh, disappointing if I didn't come out victorious and I was going to do everything that I could do to actually win tonight. Katie, your, Katie, your hands were... I got to say, the fastest I've probably ever seen them. Was that a focus in camp coming into this one? Um, I just, I wouldn't say it was a fo focus. I just have fast hands. <laughs> <laughs> Katie, this is what these uh, the uh, hardest shots you Sorry. took. Sorry? The hardest shots you took by any female fighter you fought because I know a couple of the rounds in the, the center of it, your legs buckled a little, but you kind of kept mm -hmm. your composure and came back, as you mentioned, with very fast hands. Mm -hmm. Was that Wrong kind thing of a... to say to Katie? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Wrong thing to say. I, I think it was more of a balancing rather than actually my legs buckling. What were the shots you were taking to the head? Were they very strong shots than yeah, any she, female you fought? Versus... She was definitely. Um, a hard puncher for sure, but, but I have a great chin, so 
Um, uh, so yeah, I wasn't concerned about it to the five, but definitely she, she, she's known to be a big puncher, isn't she? Yeah, no. um, so yeah. Big Casey, puncher, Casey. Casey, you've, you've achieved, oh, very sorry, Katie, yeah. uh, congratulations. Uh, you've achieved everything you've ever set out to achieve, really, all your dreams. Have you, have you ever thought about walking away the moment that you will walk away, or is that fight in Dublin the one thing that's keeping you going? Yeah, I mean, I have no plans of retiring right now. I, I love my sport. Uh, I, I love fighting, and um, I just want to keep making history. I want to keep uh, keep doing what I'm doing, I guess. And uh, on a separate note, what will you do tomorrow and over the next few days? What are you looking forward to doing? Um, I'm just looking forward to not getting punched in the face for a few weeks. <laughs> Yeah, I just gotta take it easy with the family. That they're all over here, so I'm just gonna uh, relax with them for for the day. Uh, but an amazing night for myself and my family. Uh, we're just absolutely over the moon. The biggest night in my career. Yeah. Katie Barrow, uh, Serrano, Lima. Is there any other fights that you'd like to, to take part in? Uh, there's definitely no shortage of big fights, that's for sure. Um, think, yeah, I mean, I think the the great thing about Amanda and Katie is they need, they needed each other to find that fight of that magnitude. Katie's been involved in some big fights, but obviously that was the biggest. And you know, there's going to be a lot of people that would be interested in seeing the rematch. She's got all the belts. Um, she'll continue to call the shots, and you know. Myself, Brian, and Ross, and everyone will, will talk about the future. I know Madison Square Garden have already said to me, please bring the rematch back here in September or October. Obviously, we've got Ireland to consider as well. And, and uh, you know, I think tonight was just about getting a win and letting everything else fall into place after that. A couple more, guys, because Katie's. Uh, yeah. I think it's safe to say that nobody should be compared to um, Katie Taylor. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're great champions. I think I think when you look at what Katie has done from the amateur game to the Olympics, you know, to, to how she's opened so many doors. And I actually said on social media tonight, I said she's paved the way for so many people, but tonight is about herself. But Katie's very selfless. She wants to inspire the next generation without actually realising that these moments are what she's worked for and she's created. And that was nice about the ring walk tonight because a lot of the time she's been on the coattails of other shows. You know, when she boxed Bassoon here, she was on the Anthony Joshua card. Tonight they were all here for her. And it was the first time really I've seen her walk out and sort of soak it up. And, and she deserved that moment because it's nice to give to others. It's nice to pave the way for others but you should also be very proud of what you've achieved when you, when you achieve what Katie Taylor has. <coughs> Eddie, <coughs> you spoke up this fight. I think it actually exceeded what you said. Um, I asked you to compare it to Joshua Ruiz. The noise here mm -hmm. was even greater than that fight. Is it possible to make a, an even bigger event here in New York? I'm thinking Yankee Stadium is a possibility for Katie. I mean, look. Who knows? I mean, tonight, when Joel Fisher and the tremendous team at MSG said, we have to take this to the big room, I was a little bit nervous. You know, I knew it would do well. I didn't know it would sell it out. But you're right. The one thing that people keep talking about, about tonight, was the noise. Not just how many people were there, but the noise and the passion. And that's what makes a great event. Luckily enough, I've promoted two events at Madison Square Garden in, in the main arena. One was Joshua Ruiz, which hurt badly, but was, was still an event that people said, we'll remember that for the rest of our lives. And tonight, Katie gave us a fight that everyone will remember again for the rest of their lives. And as a promoter, you can't ask for more that people leave the arena getting value for money, but also having memories that they'll remember forever. And, and Katie and Amanda gave us those memories tonight. Eddie, um, Jake Paul sat here earlier saying that um after the fight, that you actually said it was a draw, you said to him personally that it was a draw, is that, is that true? No, I said to him after eight rounds that it could be 4-4. Four, four. I, I thought Katie won the fight 6-4, to be honest with you. And, but to be honest, like sometimes when a fight's close like 6-4, if it is a draw, which I don't think would have been fair to Katie, sometimes you take it on the chin. I mean, I said to Ross, Ross said to me, I think we got it, but it's close. You know, we all felt it was a close fight. But when it's also 6-4, it can be 7-3. 
which was what one of the judges gave it. So if you want to go either way, but Jake also said that it was a robbery on social media and he didn't know who won the fight when he got in the ring. So, I mean, sometimes he doesn't know where he is, to be honest with you. But, but on a serious note, like away from that, thank you to MVP. They have, they have brought a lot to this event and they've worked hard for Amanda to, to make it the spectacle that it was. So, you know, thank you. And thank you to everybody else. And thank you to the undisputed lightweight world champion. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.